Okay, not too much on my client. She is a breast cancer survivor. So y'all do too much. You will get blocked to eternity. Okay, so let's get started. First, I'm using neck strips to put on the top of her hair. And I just take a little bit of dot of glue and just kind of dot that on just so it sticks, but it's not enough to where it's damaging or anything like that to her hair. And then we're going to put it on the stocking cap. And then around the stocking cap, we're going to spray it again. And I'm using Nairobi's um, Updo Spray. I have everything linked in the description box. And then we're just going around with a little bit of 30 second glue. And then we're going to dry that glue with the blow dryer. And then after we dry it, we're going to literally just take the scissors or the shears um, and cut the excess cap off and then spray it again and then get started. So I like pre-glue my tracks and that way the hair is already tacky by the time that I get ready to use it. And then it's um, faster. I don't have to keep stopping and gluing and all of that. Trust me, you guys do this way and it will take your quick weeds like so much faster. Like you will be getting done so much faster. If you can see the glue is already tacky. So I'm literally just pressing it down, cutting and doing that all the way around. Then I take another piece and I pre-glue it and do the same thing instead of stopping and glue, stopping and glue, stopping and glue. And I know y'all asking or thinking that I thought she didn't do weave no more. So I decided to bring the top quick weaves back just for the summer. Um, add some services uh, to my book. A lot of my clients got braids and things like that. And you know, a girl got to do what a girl got to do. So y'all better get these quick weaves. Partial only. I'm not doing full quick weaves for the summer. Because once the summer is over, y'all know what it is. Okay, so I'm done and I'm taking a little bit of that updo spray and just spraying the wefts over and then combing it over so it just stays and it's not like going directly in her face since we did put those tracks going forward. Now I'm just going back with that updo spray again and I'm just making sure the sides are nice and flat, molding it down and just smoothing everything so it's nice and neat.
I'm using a Tinkle razor, but you can use whatever razor you prefer. This is actually one of my favorite razors to use. Downsides is downside is I hate uh, it is I consider it disposable because they don't last long. You can change the blades in them, but even with that, they break easy. Uh, so just use whatever you want to use, and then I'm going back with my shears and just cutting some layers. To fill in those thin spots, I'm using high beam spray. I will, you can get this at your local beauty supply store or you can get it on Amazon. And I will link it in the description box below for you guys um, that don't have access to it uh, closely or you just don't feel like going to the store. <laughs> this world, I'll do, I'll do. It's time for that beautiful comb out and look at this if you are a old subscriber then this style is on my channel like a long 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 time ago so we decided to bring it back but you know the rest if y'all like this video give it a thumbs up like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys again for the next video